everyone, this is Jess from Jessica Donny and Co. Um, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about membership areas and click funnels. So we run a digital marketing agency for online service providers. So we help business coaches, consultants to attract their ideal clients, ideally on autopilot. So obviously we build sales funnels and click funnels is our tool of choice to build sales funnels. So for most of our clients, we are the first people that actually set them up with a ClickFunnels account. And I often get many questions back, you know, still months later because the client wants to add a new product to their offer. And one of the questions that I get an awful lot are questions on the membership areas in ClickFunnels. So what I want to do in this video is I want to talk about the logic behind setting up membership areas particularly with the focus of having multiple products or multiple funnels for the same product or leading to the same members area. Um, I found this really confusing when I first got started and I really just want to shed some light. So this should be a fairly quick video. This is more on some logic and thinking behind how this works. I'm not going to be covering how to set up each and, e um, each and every funnel step, how to get your settings right and how to integrate your payment provider. For that, I have a separate um, series of training videos that I'll put in the description below. And before we get started, I also want to tell you about a quick um, offer that I'm running. So I'm actually migrating people for free over to ClickFunnels at the moment. So if you're with lead pages, Insta pages, and you want out because you want more functionality, then um, also check the description below. I'm gonna put the details on my free migration offer below as well. Okie dokes, so let's dive into the actual topic. So membership funnels in ClickFunnels are all really nice and, you know, really nice and simple. You just press the button, it creates your membership funnel, right? Simple, done. It is that simple when you have one product or you have just one funnel leading to one product. So, what I realized though, as I kind of, um, as I kind of started getting, you know, into setting this up the first time is that every time I create a new sales funnel in ClickFunnels for the same product, just because, you know, we have, we might have a video funnel and we might have a case study funnel. We might have a, you know, we might have different types of funnels leading into the same product with every funnel I created. It wasn't just creating me a new funnel, it was also creating me a new members area. So if I'd continued to set stuff up in this way, I would have ended up with six funnels leading into six separate membership areas. So that would mean if one person was to buy six different products from me or my client, they would end up with six different accounts in six different members areas. And I'm like, well, this isn't right. You know, this is not what I want to set up. That's not how I want it to look. So I'm obviously missing a trick here. And I found that all the guides that I was reading, they were all kind of promoting just this. And I'm like, okay, I've got this now. What I want is this. And then I, I kind of worked out that there is a way to do this really easily. And then I realized that the way I'd set up my members area wasn't going to allow me to do that without it being totally messy. So in this video, I want to save you hopefully your nerves and a good bit of time. So if we were just to create a normal membership funnel out of the funnel cookbook, then we would end up with a sales page. This sales page is a, is a video sales page and it's got the order form on the page. We would go and we would create our product. I've created a test product here for this price. Then we would get taken to the order confirmation page. And then from here, um, obviously it's gonna fire an email and the email is going to send people to the membership access page where they go and create their account. And then after they've logged in, they get taken to the membership area where they actually, um, you know, where they actually access all of their content. The content is broken down into sections and lessons. If we open this in the editor, you're gonna see that the sections in this example, in this design example anyways, end up in red and the lessons end up in white. So I could have part one of my course and then all the lessons are going to be listed underneath here. And then I could have part two of my course and all the lessons are gonna be listed underneath there. And that navigation is gonna go down the left-hand side here and you can collapse and expand that as you go. 
that's all fine and good. Uh, hang on, let me get out of here. Sorry, I always forget this is the old editor still. So that's all fine and good if what you want to do is just set up one funnel for one product. However, like I just shared in our example here, we want to set up multiple funnels and we want all of those funnels to go to the same product. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to get rid of the um, sales page and you're going to get rid of the offer wall and you're going to create one funnel. Hang on, here it is. You're going to create one funnel that only contains your membership access page and your membership area. Then you're going to go and you're going to obviously set up your um, settings for the membership access page. You're going to design it. And then you're going to add your content that's going to go inside your membership area. I'm going to tell you now that there is something that you need to do differently. Okay. So if you were to use, um, so if you want to sell multiple products, and you were to take your product one and break this down in different sections and lessons, what's going to happen is, let's see if I can, what's going to happen is part one is going to be listed like this and it's going to have its lessons underneath here and part two is going to be listed like this. And then if we pretend that first section is a separate course that we're running, it's going to look exactly the same as the you know part one and two lessons of our previous course so I kind of figured that this looked super messy so we gotta sort of stick with a system that's consistent so that the people that are going to be using the membership site at the end know that all the th things in red are all the different courses that we sell and all the things in white is the content for each and in each and every individual course that we're selling so instead of having part one and part two of the course listed as sections, all of your course content has to be listed as a lesson. So this will look slightly differently on the back end. So if the VA Accelerator is the course that I'm selling, then all of the content for the VA Accelerator is going to go underneath it as a lesson. And then if the second course that I'm selling is building your online home with WordPress and Divi, then that's going to be its own section. And underneath that section, there is obviously going to be a new lesson. So let's say this is lesson one for our Divi course. And we're just going to make it a video lesson and there's no drip delay. Create lesson. Okay. And then what you can do is you can restrict access to the VA accelerator based on the products that people have purchased and you can restrict access to building your online home with Divi based on the courses that they've purchased. I haven't created the sales funnel for that one yet so there's no product listed here. So that means that for example if you want to bundle courses it's really easy to do that because all you do is if someone's bought for example the VA accelerator with the upsell of the tech pack then they automatically get all my tech courses included. So I'm going to make sure that all the sections that contain the tech courses, the people that purchase the tech pack have access to this. So if you then set it up like this, it's actually really easy for people to go and navigate your content. It's being funny now. So all the content for the VA Accelerator is actually going to be underneath the VA Accelerator. And if I want to get to the other courses, I can just go and you know flip this button, close this down, and then I can go and see the other courses underneath here. Okay, so that's how you go and set up your multiple products inside your membership area. And then to sell it, what you're going to do is you're going to have separate sales funnels that contain only your um, sales process up to the point where they get the order confirmation. And what I do is on the order confirmation page, I actually get people to go to the page to create their account from here. So if they click this button, 
obviously I'm logged in now, so it's I'm getting into the actual members area. But if you're not logged in, then you're just going to get taken to the page to create your account. Okay, and I do the same in the um, confirmation email. So let's find the fulfillment email products and then edit and then the fulfillment email. So same with the fulfillment email, I've actually linked that to the members area because I want people to be able to access their members area from their confirmation email that they got. Okay, so if you follow that system and you create your sales funnels as separate funnels and you create your membership areas as separate funnels, then you are able to keep this all really neat and tidy and you have one members area with multiple sales funnels leading into it. Okie dokes. And that's it from me with the logic behind sales funnels in ClickFunnels. <laughs> if you have only just gotten started with ClickFunnels and you need to know how to set up your funnels, how to set up your URLs to make sure they're nice and tidy, how to integrate your custom domains, integrate your email service provider, all that good stuff, then check out my training that I've linked up below and that's going to take you through how to set up your ClickFunnels account and integrate it with everything, how to um, create funnels and adjust the funnel settings to make sure everything is working, how to design your funnel and what to check before you send your funnel out into the world. So it's a really simple three-part video series um, and yeah, people have found that really helpful. So check that out. If you are only just thinking about going to ClickFunnels and um, that's why you're checking out whether you know it can do a members area and whether it can do multiple products, then welcome, you've really started to go down the rabbit hole. Um, I am happy to have a chat with anyone that's considering to go over to ClickFunnels and I run a free migration for anyone that joins ClickFunnels under my affiliate link. So I will migrate up to five of your pages from lead pages, Insta pages, wherever over to ClickFunnels. And if you have more than five, then I will go and cut you a deal on the rest. Um, that's mainly because I want you to be able to get started with using ClickFunnels straight away and be able to recuperate some of the cost of it by being able to close your lead pages account or your Insta page account or whichever one um, as quickly as possible. Okay, next, that's it for me for today. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos like this. I've got a whole what planned out. Um, I'm also planning a series on using ManyChat to set up messenger bots. Um, I've got some ConvertKit stuff that I've got, you know, still in my Google Drive that's waiting to be uploaded for a long time. So I'm going to share lots of videos in that direction. And if it's not tech tools, but strategy that you're interested in, then I've got some videos coming up on um, sales funnels and Facebook ads. So there's plenty of good stuff coming. So subscribe and you'll get notified when the next video is coming out. And I'll talk to you soon.